tractor supply deals. I was going to um, incubate eggs this year, but I took back the incubator because I read the reviews and I didn't like it. And tractor supply, end of season. So uh, I got my birds for sale, as I wanted anyway. And there's a swap meet coming up, so uh, that'll be nice. Look at the size of that. Look at that. That's alive. That's a little creature. Uh oh. Are they in there? Yep. Okay, I thought they were upstairs again. I'm like, no! It's hard to see them because they're all black. Yeah. These are so cute. Look at a little. One day. Hatched yesterday, basically. What do you think of that? Hatched yesterday. Baby Calyx being on camera. Yes, she does. What do you think, baby cat? Huh? She's like, just love me. <laughs> Baby's a good cat. Yeah, you are. Different colors. Look at the stripes. They call them skunk stripe. <laughs> oh, they're cold. We gotta get them up in where it's warmer. Poor little thing. Make you warm. Stop shivering right away. You gotta get them up where they're warmer. Well, I gotta take care of them. I'm gonna put them upstairs, so. Put them upstairs where it's nice and cozy. Good afternoon, Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the snowy, snowy off grid project. Look at that. This is the strangest thing. Look at that. It's actually hail. Can you see that? See it bouncing off the ground? This is the weirdest thing. Look at that. This is, uh, we're end of April, going on May, and we have snow at the off grid homestead. Um, very, very odd. Very curious. And look, we have sun and snow at the same time. Look at that. Uh, the chickens are scrambling. They're like, what is going on? Well, very curious here. We're going to have a freeze tonight, so I'm going to have to protect my trees. Um, I'll take you out later on and show you around. Everything's budding and blooming beautifully. And uh, I'm going to have to cover up the trees and keep them from freezing tonight. Uh, the next two nights are going to be below 30 degrees, so uh, it's uh, definitely interesting weather this year, but nothing I haven't been through before, especially the last few years. We'll take care of it and keep on moving. Well, I'm working on video right now, uh, just finishing up editing a video that will be live tonight. And uh, Tim is over here. Trying How's to it catch going? up on my comments. Catching up on the comments, yeah. yeah. Computer work, and then we're going to head out and do some solar panel wiring. Absolutely. And grounding. So, uh, grounding. by the way, Tim is the guy who bought those solar panels. I want to say thank you for the world to see. And, and uh, uh, he just bought two of them off of me. Finally, finally, yep. we're settling up. Yep. Yep. I'm oh, patient. I want to thank you for that, for that help. Otherwise, I would be struggling pretty badly right now without you. That's what friends are for, right? Yep. Yep. That's right. So, anyway, we're going to get out there and we're going to wire them up properly. How cool is that that you're actually here? For the really good proper rewiring of the solar panels today. That'd be pretty cool. So that way, at different stages, um, what we're going to hit ideal sunlight this part of the day, then transfer it over here mm -hmm. and over here, and at no time is it going to overload the charge controller. That's right. And we're going to be doing proper grounding so that way, if it ever did get struck by lightning again, yep. it just shorts to ground. Right. And how many times has that been struck? Like three times? Twice. That twice. Twice. That morning star has got hit by lightning twice in and three it's still years. in three years and it's still trucking yes that's pretty crazy that's impressive I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one of those very that's, impressive that's really awesome yeah yeah and you're just showing on your computer how you can check everything with the ethernet cord ethernet cord too? yeah uh, wireless I'm attached wirelessly oh cool so you but, can just oh um, are putting this actually up. the the charge controller is plugged into the modem directly with a cable and then mm -hmm. I'm wirelessly checking it through the um, 
through the... Uh, that's cool. So you can be anywhere in the world and be like, oh, how many... Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Yep. All right, well, let's finish our work in here so we can get outside and get some work done. Will do. Talk to you later. There you go. Chicken wrangling. Oh. That one's going through. Careful of grapevines. There's one down. You gotta figure out where they came in from. That one's not very smart. Tim catching chickens. Good job. Walk straight towards me. Right down this path, this path. Straight down this path. Yeah, because there's stuff actually growing right there. So it is, you just corner them. Kind of like this, and they go like Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna do a chicken catching video. It's uh, it's actually a skill. Yeah, it's, it's it's harder than people think. Yeah, and you gotta be smarter than a chicken. And you gotta corner them. That's how you do them. Well, so we gotta figure out where they came through. Alright, I'll hold this fence away from you. This wind is blowing it like mad. We've got a leak in the chicken coop. Now we've got to get a bailing wire. And actually, I can put this on here. Put this on here. Oh, perfect. I love this type of thing. Well, here, pull, yeah, hold it up. Straight. Hold on. Alright, now this can go into here. And through these hooks. These, this thing has hooks, which are very convenient. I can't get that one on. And then we'll, um, yeah, I've got two extensions. And this right here is wrapped up in it. Bro, is this a grapevine? Can you, uh, Tim? What's this right down here? Can you come over here to this state? This one's ripped off. Can you come over here? Yeah. This is the killer. This is the one. Undo that wire. Uh, let's do the top one first. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's, this is a life in the, a day in the life of uh, off-grid living. Let me see the camera's showing this. Uh. Always maintenance to do. The cares. Something's always going on. Okay, another one of these to boost it up high over here, too. this one? Yeah. Uh, both of them are done? No, that one's gotta be right. Oh, my shoes don't stay tight for anything. <laughs> so what we gotta do later, but this is this is at least we repaired it for now. We patched the hole. We've gotta get the solar panels on, especially when it's cloudy. This is a patch up for now. What I wanna do later, I've gotta get, uh, if time permits, I've gotta extend these higher here, these two stakes. Because that's allowing the birds to actually get out over as well. But under, <laughs> see right here that the chickens were stepping on the wire actually, physically stepping on it. Right. Huh? Another, oh no, that's not so bad over there, trust me. That's where they got out. No, I thought it was, what, flying over? Yeah, and there's another getting out right here. Because they're, uh, they stepped on the wire here and they bent it down. It's a cheap junk wire. And then they simply walk over it. <laughs> so I need stakes in between each of these new stakes to tie this chicken wire out so they don't walk over it. And this one's broke from winter. <laughs> oh yeah, I did a They were literally walking through here because they, they, this, there was no support here. Actually, this we will use later on that, but we'll get the bailing wire for that later. You got zip ties? I do. 